My pals are here. Workbook 1A. So we're going to start with this book for the first time today. Okay, page 1. Looks like this. This starts nice and easy peasy, so I'll go through it quickly. Chapter 1, numbers to 10. Counting to 10. So there they give you an example. All you need to do is count the objects and write the number down. So there were two buttons and you wrote a two. Count how many bugs there are. Count how many pairs there are. And count how many cars there are. That's page one. Page two says count and write the numbers. So there's a nice picture of a tree with a whole lot of animals. So yeah, you have to count how many monkeys, how many cats, maybe you write them in the box. How many birds, how many squirrels, how many leaves, so there's a couple extra there, how many leaves, how many bears, and right at the bottom, how many lizards are on this tree, and you write it there. Okay, you can write just the number, or you can even write the number name. That'll be something nice. That's page two. Page three says draw. A cow has two horns. So there they've given the cow two horns. Yeah, you have to trace the two horns with your pencil, and there you have to draw two horns for that cow. A chair has four legs. That chair's already got four legs. You need to draw four legs on this chair and four legs on this chair. An ant has six legs. This ant already has six legs. You have to draw six legs for this ant and six legs for this ant. Then each ladybird has ten spots. Now this one already has its 10 spots. You need to draw 10 spots for this one and 10 spots for this one. But before you start with this one, I just want to show you. There's a line down the middle because the, the ladybug has two wings. This is the one wing and this is the other wing. Okay, the one wing has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the other wing has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So only put 5 of your spots on this wing and 5 of your spots on that wing. Same with this one. 5 and 5 which make 10. That's page 3. Let's go to page 4. How many are there? Match. So you need to count how many there are and then match it with a word. So this one they've done for us. There were three butterflies. One, two, three. And you drew, they drew a nice straight line to the three, the word three. Okay, use a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, try and make your lines nice and straight. Okay, count the bees, count the spiders, count the dragonflies, and lastly count the ladybugs. And then you'll see on this side are the words. All you need to do is match them up. Page 5. Match. It's nearly the same as the last one, but this one, this time you don't need to count the animals or the bugs. You just read the number. So there's the number 3, and it got matched. It got matched to the word 3. Okay. There's 10. Zero, seven, two, four, and nine. Just again use your ruler and match them up to the words, the number name. That's page five. Page six is the last one for today. It starts with a snowman. It says, count the things on the snowman. Write in numbers and in words. So, there's our snowman picture. He's got all sorts of objects on him. 
And at the bottom, we have to count. So they've done the first one for us. He's not wearing a tie, so that's zero. The snowman does not have any ties. He's got zero ties, so they wrote zero. And they write the word zero, so you need to do the same. Count how many scarves he has, write the number and the word. Count how many buttons he has, write the number and the word. Count how many birds are sitting on him, write the number and the word. And the last one, count how many pipes there are. This is called a pipe. Okay, it's something that, that somebody can smoke. Write the number and write the name. Good, that's all for today.